Hello and welcome to another C++ Weekly Special Edition episode. In this one, we are going to install Visual Studio 1.52. And this is special because it is the oldest version of Visual C++ that is available on the MSDN subscription. So I have the setup ready to go here. And this just totally brings back memories of installing old software on Windows when it would take up the whole screen. I almost kind of miss this. So let's go ahead and install. And we'll see what options we have. Let's just go ahead and install everything. It's not like we don't have enough disk space. Um, I don't know what that means. Sure. Ooh, if I take time to send in my registration card, Microsoft will inform me of product updates. I'm guessing this is installing about 300 times faster than it would have on a contemporary computer of the day. Oh, here's hoping I don't need to actually reboot to get that autoexec.bat working. And hopefully this actually works in Windows XP. I believe it should. All right, our first launch of Visual C++ 1.52. This is from 1993 also, so we are following along in our reviews of pre-standard C++ compilers. And this is now our third compiler. Uh, we uh, reviewed Turbo C++ 3.0, which was from 1992, and GCC 2.4.5 from 1993, and now Visual C++ 1.52 from 1993 also. Let's see what we've got. A Visual Basic Custom Control, that's interesting. Let's make a standard Windows application, or maybe we should make a COM application. That implies a 16-bit executable. Uh, let's maybe, uh, let's do the 32-bit one. Then we can compare it to the code that was created by our GCC review. I have absolutely no idea where this project file was created. So let's just uh, put this, I don't know, on the desktop. Well, let's just put it in the root of C. At this point, I honestly have absolutely no idea how to add something to my project. I think I might have finally figured out what was going on. Uh, what are we at now? We are 20 minutes into messing with this. And first of all, the first problem I had was that I was creating a test project that had more than eight characters in it, and the DOS code was getting confused. And the second issue is that it seems that I cannot debug a DOS executable from inside of the Visual Studio Windows GUI. I have to use the DOS version of the GUI. Let's see where we can get from here and see if we can actually get some stuff being output. Okay, no compiler errors. We seem to have done something that would output hello world. Let's see where we are. It says that it ran a cursor, but I'm not seeing any hello world output. Let's see what happens if we add a flush to it. There we go. Now we're finally getting our hello world output. We see that we've got basically the same capabilities as the other compilers that we've looked at. We're not using namespaces. And I'm going to see if this does support templates, though.
highlighting that in red, so I'm thinking IntelliSense is already telling me I did something wrong, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, so no template support, so that puts it noticeably behind the other compilers of the era, which is unfortunate to say the least. So let's see if we can maybe get a handle on what kind of code gen this is able to do. I find it quite unfortunate I'm having to do a manual flush after each one of these to get the output, but let's make sure that we get what we want. I do not understand why I'm getting these red highlights. I'm going to go ahead and compile. Okay, that compiled with no warnings. Ah, ah! I accidentally closed Visual Studio. That actually compiled with no warnings. Let's see what happens when we try to use these things. Well, that's interesting. I'm not getting any output at all from it. Ah, okay, there we go. One call to the constructor, one call to the copy constructor. That works like we would expect it to. Let's try our other options and... That seems to be doing the right thing. Also, ah, excellent. We can get mixed source and assembly output. Let's see if we can play with this some more. That is full screen. I'm going to change the code a little bit and see what happens. Uh, no code view information for it. So I can't see the code view because I did, didn't do a debug build. So I don't know. This is, a, I think, about as far as I can get with this. It's significantly harder to use, doesn't have templates, um, and trying to do DOS executable is a huge pain. I'm, I'm not sure even where to go with this or where to see how the actual compiled binary look without building in debug mode, which obviously I'm trying to see how our optimized builds work. So I don't give this one any thumbs up. I would be sticking with the Turbo C++ and the GCC of the era. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.